guy who works on TV, hi, Mainstream Matt, can probably tell yeah. us about that. Uh, so you watch this tonight. Uh, you know, of course, I'm busy doing some of the other podcasts and everything. Wow. So, so how was it? Real good. Okay. Real good. <laughs> they um, they apparently followed around some of the NXT guys for years, Sorg. Really? Wow. Years. <laughs> they didn't just drop in for a few days. This thing was they they followed a few guys for a lot. The um the the hour um this hour I don't even know what I should call it an episode a documentary I'm not sure what I should call this this hour long program uh, focused primarily on three people um, Xavier Woods Corey Graves and Adam Rose um, and kind of showed um, their progression and how they're developing their character all curtains were torn down they were using everybody's real name um, Michael Cole's real name Triple H's real name, everybody's real name. Um, so it was all Wait a minute, there. Michael Cole's real name? He's not Michael, Michael Cole? Michael Cole's real name is not Michael Cole. What? What? I seriously, I seriously I had know. no idea. <laughs> he was a war correspondent. I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I know, that, that, that was very high up on the mind-blowing uh, moments from this is show. It, is his real name Maggle, though? <laughs> it, Maggle. Yeah, his real name is Maggle. Okay, it's Maggle. Maggle. You're right, how do you get that? Um, I live um, in the there, was, there was a lot of um, there was a lot of Triple H. There was a uh, pretty lengthy in- interview um, between ESPN's Jeremy Shap and uh, Vince McMahon sprinkled in there. There was a hearty helping of Bill DeMott, um, which was really interesting to see. But I guess hey, he was the head trainer at the time, so obviously he's all over this freaking thing. Um, but it's actually it's interesting because um, he basically comes off as. Hey, he seems like a nice guy. He's very encouraging. He's helping these guys out. So Bill on like comes out shining like a diamond. Um, That's some rough timing right there. <laughs> um, you get to see a lot of their home lives, um, and and you get to see that um, you know, Corey Graves is 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 married and he's got two kids. And you get to see Adam Rose is married and he's got a kid and another on the way. And, mm-hmm. and Xavier Woods is studying for his PhD. And um, they're talking a lot about, you know, developing their characters. It's a lot of the storylines are based on um, how can I get my character to the point where I get into the main roster. So you see a lot of um, Adam Rose's prior persona as Leo Kruger and his struggles with that character and trying to make that something that can translate into a main roster character. And uh, they actually have like what I assume is like the, I don't know, the creative meeting for NXT um, with Triple H at the head of the table. And they're basically conversing about the characters and they're talking about, you know, Leo Kruger, you know, who would want to see, you know, you know, obviously Leo Kruger, the wrestler, while very skilled and fundamentally sound, you know, they're talking about, is this a character that people will pay to see? And they're like, no. So what do we do? You know, and, and, you know, he's getting older and he's got to figure this out. And, and you learn that, his his um, his first child is had um, some complications, um, and actually, um, I, I didn't catch the full details on it because I was a little bit distracted at the time. But that uh, that Adam Rose, I'm just going to call him Adam Rose from now on. Um, Adam Rose's um, um, oldest son um, has a medical issue where he basically has to be you know, fed because he, um, he, he's having some medical problems. So like sympathy is on. Okay. So you got a little baby at home. Um, Adam Rose is like, you know, getting up there in age, Leo Kruger ain't working. He's got to figure something out. Sword. He's got to get to that main roster. He's got to make that money for his family. He's got to do it. Um, so they go through the process and you see how they concocted Adam Rose and how he has to go out and perform as Adam Rose and the tension of, you know, will the fans go for this? This is do or die. This is sink or swim. My family's counting on me to make this thing work. And, of course, we all know how it worked because we – hopefully a lot of you guys remember when Adam Rose debuted and how awesome that moment was. Mm-hmm. Well, newsflash, everybody. Um, all of you who got all caught up in Adam Rose's debut on NXT, you um, unknowingly may have saved his family. So congratulations to all of you. Oh, geez. 
<laughs> because if I'm seriously, the stakes, the, the stakes that are put in place are so high that like, you're like, Oh my God, Adam Rose has got to make this work. And of course he does. He, he, he's on the main roster now. So things are going better um, for him and he's making some more money. So.